Yo, what's going on guys? It's Pokey the Collector here and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the LEGO Speed Champions Ferrari F8 Tributo. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay notified of when I upload. Also, here are today's shout outs on the screen. Comment down below if you would like a shout out in the next video. Now, on with the video. So guys, here is the Ferrari F8 Tributo in the box. So first of all, like always, we're gonna take a look at the box. I'm gonna open it up and count how many bags there are, poly bags, whatever it is, and then do a time-lapse build right here. So first of all, let's take a look at the box. So over here we have, um, I believe this is Italy because Ferrari is made in Italy and it would kind of be fitting. Uh, so here's a really nice, beautiful scenery, the sea. This is the road, Ferrari logo, Lego um, logo. Speed Champions, this set is recommended for ages seven and up and the set number is 76895, Ferrari F8 Tributo. And as you can see here, here is the car itself. It's a very nice detailed vehicle, I do say so. It has two seats, unlike the previous Speed Champions, like this one over here. This has one seat and is six studs wide, but this one is eight studs wide and has two seats and generally more pieces that means more detail so uh at the top lego speed champions the set number and here's just the lego and lego logo trademarks blah 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 ferrari official licensed products here are the um the scale of the tires on the side we have lego speed champions uh, set number again and a nice checkered flag background the lego life app i believe you can scan this set and um, get the instructions just in case you've lost them very helpful app i recommend it on the back we have some really nice photos as you can see here this is one beautiful back of the car i'm like here's a uh, um the website lego.com slash speed champions and it will take you to the whole range of speed champion cars Here's the real car itself. It's a very nice car, very sleek, elegant. Of course, it's a Ferrari. Over here, you can see more of the detail. This is a sticker, I believe. I like how they did this like picture. They added some lights and then also here. Ferrari logo, Lego logo set number. And then on the other side, lastly, is the Ferrari official product sticker, the Lego logo, the checkered flag, the Ferrari car itself, speed champions and set number guys first of all with the unboxing like whoever has opened a lego set before must know is this little thumb um picture here so what you have to do is just press down and it just pops open and just just rip this off and first of all we have bag number one the base of the car notice how it's eight wide and this was the old base it was more of a six wide bag number one and finally bag number two also here is the sticker sheet this is not really what you would expect because the other sets in this line um they have a lot of stickers take for example the lamborghini set it has a bunch of stickers on um the front and sides so this is a surprise it's um like less stickers and finally here is the um instruction manual itself you guys can um scan this barcode here on lego life to add it to your collection of sets lego life is basically a um social media app as well but for lego and people just post their like um the lego and stuff and yeah so let's see how many pages is in this manual so 70 pages here are all the pieces as you can see here lego life for driving forza horizon 4 and so on, there's just the instructions. So guys, I will see you in the build.
I build a Ferrari F8 Tributo, as you can see here. First of all, I'm just gonna um, do a comparison between the other cars, my thoughts on the car, and what I would like to see from LEGO in the future, and then the video will end. So, first of all, let's compare the LEGO sets. So here are some of the old Speed Champion sets, as you can see here, they're six wide. This is basically the base they used to use, it's just a normal base. Whereas these ones are much more bigger, squarer bases because it's an eight wide car. This is um, a little bit more lighter and this is very heavy like at the back and at the front due to the bunch of pieces being used right here to form this really nice elegant design on the, of the Ferrari. Sticker usage on this one, just pretty simple. The normal areas of stickers. This is again, once again, a uh, sticker, 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 sticker. Printed piece, printed piece, printed piece. Sticker, 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 and sticker. So yeah. As you can see here, this is a little bit more older. So it's just, you can see how Lego has outdone themselves by um, making the uh, Lego sets bigger. One, they've made them longer and they've made them bigger. And the great thing is they made it two seats to make it more realistic. And they added um, a head, like what they called wing mirrors. Yeah, they're called wing mirrors. So as you can see here, the steering wheel is a little bit um, not aligned, but that is fine. Because the main part of this set is just, it, it's blown me away how Lego has outdone themselves. The Lego designers, um, the designers at Lego are amazing. They, they produce sets which are so like, they capture the beauty of the car. Like for example, let's compare this. I mean, this is Lego and then this is real life. So this is the real car itself. And then it's just really similar. And then the backs are really similar to a classic, like a Ferrari California. They look like that and it has that classic like, in um, slope down in the Ferrari. So yes, I am a huge Ferrari fan. I collect Ferraris. I also support the F1 team. And my thoughts on the car is, uh, uh, it's a 10 out of 10 for from Lego. They've out completely outdone themselves. The minifigure uh, uh, is great as well. Has that nice uh, Ferrari fanboy uh, print T-shirt. So yeah, the piece usage piece usage in this is amazing as well. How they've like built together such a complex structure with just a bunch of pieces. So yeah, oh, my other my other favorite parts is the back and then these two exhaust pipes because they just really like look real. I don't know why, I just keep on saying this. It just looks really nice and real. So yeah, I recommend this for all Lego collectors or anyone who's using this for stop motion animation because I do stop motion animation as well. I might um, do a stop motion video with this and put it on the YouTube channel. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay notified of when I upload. Also, comment down below if you would like a shout out in the next video. And peace out, guys. Bye.